Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of all ages, it is Aussie Verse, and we are back, baby, because it is cutoff time. And unfortunately, I am alone. That's right, all alone. Everybody's busy tonight. People have got plans. People have got families. People have got appointments. That is the way of the world. But don't worry about it. I am here, and tonight we are not going to be going through the pre-orders kind of cut off by this Sunday. Instead, we're going to be doing the previews of the collected editions. So here we go. Let's take a look. There we go. We are back at this website that we like to go to. We have gone to the previews of August for the collected editions. This is the ones that you need to pre-order by this Sunday of uh, actually last quarter pre-order for the month. Sorry, I'm, I get confused with every other week. Uh, we have filtered up by graphic novels and trade paperbacks. There are 1,354 products. That is 11 pages. So let's see if Omnibo can do it solo. So the hottest one so far is Absolute Promethea. Now, these books have been long out of print for a very long time. There are three in the collection. I have never read them myself, but I've always been told to not pass them up. So that is the best uh, advice that I can give to you. Do not pass up on Absolute Promethea. And if you're not sure what that is, let's take a look. Eisner Award winning Alan Moore, who does Watchmen and V for Vendetta, comes their entrancing masterpiece collected in oversized, absolute format. Discover the stories that introduce Sophie Banks, an ordinary college student in a weirdly futuristic New York, whose life will be changed by her research into the mythological, mythical warrior woman known as Promethea. Next, we have Adventure Time Compendium Hardcover. We have Direct Market Cover and a Normal Cover, as well as Alice Cooper Crossroads Trade Paperback. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man by Zeb Wells, Trade Paperback Volume 11, Going Green. Who is that goblin on the front? Why does he have a Spider-Man looking hood? You'll have to read to find out. The next one is the one that I am most excited about. Naturally, that is the Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus Volume Number 6, baby. That is right. Omnibus Number 6 with two different covers. And if you're like me and you loved American Psycho, the movie, then you must be looking forward to the trade paperback. I don't know why it says Volume 1 because I'm pretty sure there isn't a Volume 2. I don't think it's just a one and done, but there you go. We next have Armoury Wars Trade Paperback, the second stage, Turbine Blade, as well as Armoury Wars Trade Paperback, Volume 1, No World for Tomorrow. Andres Sapakowskis Witcher, Edge of the World hardcover, which is based on the short stories, as well as the Art of Dead Space hardcover by Dark Horse Comics. Next, we have something, uh, the art of something is killing the children hardcover. So for those that were annoyed that the slipcase editions of something is killing the children did not have any covers in them, which is a very fair enough gripe. It was kind of annoying that they didn't include them. Well, they've done a little cheeky something here, which is the art of something is killing the children, which is all of the covers. And apparently it is also the same dimensions as the other slip cases. So if you're a big Something is Killing the Children fan, then that is something that you must get. If you're a fool like me and you must get everything, then you're probably going to get that one too. Next up, we have Ascender, the Compendium Trade Paperback by Jeff Lemire. This is a very well-received series. Uh, I believe, yeah, the first one was Descender, I believe, which is two books. So I can't remember if they did a Descender compendium or not, but this is the follow-up Ascender. Next up, we have Astrobots, which sounds like a Transformers ripoff. However, it is created by the writer of the original Transformer comics. So this might be something worth picking up if you are an Autobots fan. A brand new saga, brand new story, brand new comic, 
Astrobots Troy Trade Paperback. Next up, we have Atlas Artist Edition Number Two Hardcover: The City That Time Forgot and Other Stories. And keep going with the Marvel love. We have Avengers by Jed McKay, Trade Paperback Volume Three. This uh, this is Blood Hunt tie-in, and I haven't read the Blood Hunt stuff yet, but this Avengers series is pretty damn good. It is a lot better than the previous run by Jason Aaron. Next up, we have an epic collection of Avengers Trade Paperback Volume 13, Season of the Witch by Roger Stern and Grunwald. And then we have a new omnibus of Avengers Forever by Jason Aaron Hardcover. Now, I did just say that the last series of Avengers wasn't that great, but this was the ending of the whole series, and it was quite a massive event at the end. So I've got to admit, I actually did enjoy this, um, and it was a great way to finish off the run. And there are two covers there for you to choose. Next, we have Bad Omens Concrete Jungle Trade Paperback Volume 1. Basic Instinct Trade Paperback Volume 1. I don't know if that has to do with the movie, like um, uh, American Psycho but it probably does. Batman Bruce Wayne Murderer Turned Fugitive Omnibus. That is going to be quite heavily sold, I believe, because of all the Batman love, as is Batman by Tom King, Trade Paperback, Volume 1. Then that is the first page. Moving on. Detective Comics, Batman, Volume 4 in the hardcover and the trade paperback. So whichever way you like to collect, you can have them both, $39.95 and $27.65, respectively. Then we have Batman, Santa Claus, Silent Night trade paperback, as well as the 2024 edition of Batman, The Cult trade paperback by Stalin. We then have the Best of Godzilla trade paperback volume two, which from memory, I think this has the half century war uh, in it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it does. So this is actually a pretty good Godzilla collection to get if you haven't bought everything Godzilla and you just want some of the best stories, pick this up. We then have Big Jim and the White Boy graphic novel by 10 Speed Press by Eisner Award winners David Walker and Marcus Anderson. And then, oh, baby, we have Birthright Deluxe Edition hardcover. This one is one that we've been waiting for for many, many years to come out. It is now finally time. And then we have a great Black Panther run, at least in this humble Omnibus opinion. This is Black Panther by Reginald Hudlin, Omnibus Volume 1. No, it doesn't say Volume 1. It just says the run. That must be the whole thing. This is in the era where Storm from the X-Men was married to Black Panther, and it was a pretty freaking cool run, man. I really enjoyed it. Moving on, we then have the same but a different cover. We then have Black Sight Trade Paperback, Black Widow and Hawkeye Broken Arrow, and one of the many Blood Hunts trade paperbacks coming out, which is Blood Hunters once more into the darkness. And this one will be collecting the entire run of Blood Hunters for issue miniseries. Moving on, we then have Bowling with Corpses and Other Strange Tales. Uh, which I believe is, is probably set in the world of Hellboy. If not, it's still Mike Mignola. We have Broken Frontier graphic novel, Berserker Bloodlines trade paperback volume two by Keanu Reeves and by a thread, Scott Snyder and Jack Snyder. Uh, Jack Snyder, yeah. Okay, that, that's looking pretty cool too. Uh, we have Cabinet Trade Paperback, Castle Swimmer Graphic Novel, which looks kind of cute, Citrus Plus Graphic Novel Volume 6 by Seven Seas Entertainment, and Clay Footed Giants Trade Paperback by Mad Cave Studios. We then have the Complete Kabuki 30th Anniversary Hardcover with a beautiful cover right there. Right there. That looks really, really cool from the 30th anniversary of the publication of the original Kabuki series. David Mack and Dark Horse Comics proudly present this complete collection of the entire comics run in a single oversized hard cover with a beautiful and new painted cover. I don't know what that is, but it looks really cool. Cooking with Monsters Volume 2, Covenant Trade Paperback Volume 2, and one that I am actually excited to get is the Creep Show Deluxe Edition Hardcover Book 1, which covers Creep Show. 
uh, volume one to five, I believe, and then Creep Show two, number one to five, which is really cool. I've been waiting for that to come out in the hardcover. Uh, we then have the direct market cover, if that is your thing. We have Critical Roles, Tales of Exandria, hardcover volume two. And, well, okay, so one of them is the deluxe hardcover, which looks like a slipcase, and the other one is just the standard, as well as Crystal Cadets hardcover by Oni Press. Cthulhu, Deep Down Under, Volume 3, Cyanide and Happiness, Stab Factory hardcover, and the trade paperback. Again, depends on which way you want to collect it. And boy, oh boy, we have been wanting this run for many, many years. It has been in the top five uh, most wanted omnibuses in the most wanted omnibus poll for a long, long time. We finally, finally get it. It is Daredevil by Nascenti and Ramita. Hell yes. Oh, oh man. I cannot wait to get that myself. That is going to be so, so cool to have on the shelf. We have two different covers there. We have Dark Knights of Steel Trade Paperback Volume 2, which is an Elseworld story set in the DC universe, as well as DC's Finest, which is a brand new line by DC. These are going to showcase some of the best stories in DC, and they are coming out with Catwoman, Lifelines, and Zero Hour Part one. So if you are looking for fantastic DC stories, but you don't like the big hardcovers or the fat trade paperbacks, these are the ways to get them. DC's finest. We then have Green Lantern, DC's finest, Justice League of America, the bridge between Earth's Justice Society of America for America and democracy, as well as DC's finest superheroes, Zap goes the Legion. Oh, and last but not least, Flash the Human Thunderbolt. We then have Deadpool by Cody Ziegler, Trade Paperback Volume 1, Blood Bond, and the 30th Anniversary Collection Trade Paperback of Death and Return of Superman. If you collect Death of Superman, here's another one to add to your collection, Death Comes for the Toy Maker by Magma Comics, Deathstroke the Terminator by Marv Wolfman Omnibus. That is going to be a hot seller. I tell you what, people love Deathstroke. I don't mind him. I don't, it's not really my jam. But, um, yeah, if you're a Deathstroke person, then grab that, put it on your shelf. We then have James Tinian and Joshua Hickson presenting the, De the Deviant Trade Paperback Volume 1, as well as a hardcover and a softcover with Disney and Pixar Brave Classic Graphic Novel. Disney Comics hardcover around the world in 100 years deluxe edition, which looks like a slipcase as well. Displaced trade paperback by Ed Brisson from Boom Studios. Doctor Doom by Cantwell and LaRocca. And if you haven't read this Doctor Doom series, you freaking well should have because it's really, really good, man. I freaking love this series. So get it all in one go apart uh, instead of like the four trade paperbacks that originally was printed in. Doctor Strange by Jed McKay, trade paperback volume three, Blood Hunt, which is obviously a tie-in to the Blood Hunt series. We then have Doctor Strange, Master of Mystic Arts, Omnibus Hardcover Volume 1. Are we looking at an Omnigeddon for September? It looks like we probably are because there's a few freaking Omnibuses, guys. We can get any cover you like, one of those two. Doctor Who, 15th Doctor, Trade Paperback, Dogmatics and the Indomitables Hardcover Volume 1. Show no mercy to the Romans. And that is a, another cover there. What's going on with this one? You've got $11 for that one. 17. Oh, because it's a hard cover and a trade. That's why. We have Dracula Blood Hunt Trade Paperback, one of the uh, highly anticipated uh, stories from Blood Hunt that I personally want to read. Drawing Blood Trade Paperback Volume 1, Spilled Ink by Image Comics. Drive Like Hell graphic novel from Dark Horse. June. House Atreides, Trade Paperback Volume 2 by Boom. EC Archives, Crime Suspense Stories, Trade Paperback Volume 3. And keeping in line with that sort of genre, we have Eerie Archives, Trade Paperback Volume 9 already. Fuck, they are pumping these out, man. Elseworld, Superman, Trade Paperback Volume 2. I highly recommend you grab this one because I have that on the shelf and it is fantastic. It collects the Son of Superman Elseworld story, Superman's Legion 1 and 2, Supergirl Wings, and Superman Chew Brit. That is all Elseworld stories. 
Elvira meets HP Lovecraft, a new epic collection of Excalibur, Days of Futures Yet to Come, Flash, the trade paperback volume two until the time stands still, and Flash, ah, Gordon, classic collections, hardcover volume two. For better or for worse, library hardcover edition, which looks like it's going to be a landscape edition by IDW, Geronimo Stilton Reporter, no idea what that is, but it's up to Volume 5. Ghost Rider, Final Vengeance, Volume 5. And G.I. Joe, a real American hero compendium trade payback book one. That is going to be a hot title as well. Volume 5 is the same, but with a direct market cover. Girl Rebels, hard cover. Godzilla's 70th anniversary hard cover. And good grief, more Peanuts trade paperback 1952 to 1956 by Titan Comics. Again, looks like in a landscape format. Uh, Gwen Stacy, Beyond Amazing. If people aren't sure what this is, this was a series that came out during COVID and it was then cancelled. So they then ended up finishing the story in a big giant size Gwen Stacy number one. So it is only three comics, but uh, the last one is a giant size uh, story and that cover is by J. Scott Campbell. Harley Quinn trade paperback volume two. I don't like me and another epic collection. Hawkeye shafted as well as Heart Piercer by Dark Horse trade paper back. We have the Art of Mike Mignola hardcover Hell Ink and Water. I know a lot of people would really dig that one too. High on Life trade paperback volume one. Hope Town's Hob Town Mystery Stories trade paperback volume two, and House Cat Trouble Meow and Again box set by Random House Graphic. I Hate Fairyland trade paperback volume seven. Not to be confused by the original series. This is the new series that's come out. Volume seven by Image Comics. I Heart Skull Crushes. Cool. Immortal Thor trade paperback volume three. Please let me know in the comments. Comics. Comments. What you guys think about the Immortal Thor series? Because I have some pretty mixed feelings about this run by Al Ewing. I think it's a little too smart for me, if I'm being completely honest. Impact Winter. Trade paperback image comics. Injustice, Gods Among Us compendium. That is going to be so cool. If you are missing uh, Injustice issues or you're missing a hardcover or a trade, grab this one. This is going to be really, really cool. I love Injustice. It is so freaking awesome, man. We then have The Art of Dan DiCarlo in an expanded edition by Fanographics, Invasive. Trade paperback by Colin Bunn and Iron Man Modern Era Epic Collection Trade Paperback Volume 4 Stark Disassembled, one of my favourite Iron Man runs ever, which I believe, uh, if memory serves, came out, uh, well, you'd have to think it was during Avengers Disassembled. I was about to say the Dark Reign era, but, yeah, I think I'm right the first time. Um, Jackpot and Black Cat. Uh, I want to love this series. I actually didn't mind reading it, if I'm being brutally honest. But Mary Jane with Powers, no thank you. Jennifer, Blood Battle Diary, Trade Paperback, Volume 1 by Fred, Fred DeLent by Dynamite. And Jessica Farm, Hardcover by Fanographics. Joe the Barbarian by Grant Morrison, DC Black Label, 2765 from DC Comics. And man, without all my partners, I am flying through this. John Ken Mortensen's Nightmare Factory hardcover, another landscape edition. Jonah and the Unpossible Monsters trade paperback, the complete collection. Katie the Cat Sitter, soft cover graphic novel, volume four, perfect plan. And Kevin Keller, Celebration Omnibus hardcover, Archie Comics, although done by Random House. Kids are still weird, and more observations from parenthood. That'd be good for parents, it looks like it. Kill Me and Other Curiosities graphic novel collecting the short stories of Chad Lambert. King Conan original comics, omnibus, hardcover, volume one. This is your chance to get the, this reprint done by Titan Comics. Kitty Quest Phantom Frenzy graphic novel, uh, KS, K's, K's Car. Can Go Anywhere Graphic Novel by Penguin Workshop, Last of the Gladiators Hardcover by Daniel Mate, and Law Olympus Graphic Novel Volume 7. 
in a soft cover and a hard cover. Love Me, a romance story. Magic Order, graphic novel, continuing the Magic Order series and Magical myst Mystery, Magical History Tours, three in one hardcover. Man's Best Friend Trade Paperback, which looks cute as hell. I'm thinking about picking that one up myself. Martin Scorsese, graphic novel, who I used to love the guy until he bashed Marvel. And the next ones, these are going to be really, really cool. These came out on Kickstarter, but now they're available to the public. Marvel, Art of Russell Dorderman, hardcover and direct market edition. That's going to be sweet, as is the Midnight Suns. Blood Hunt Trade Paperback, Midnight Tiger Origins by Ray Anthony Heights, the dust with a dust jacket. <laughs> Most of them have dust jackets. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Return Trade Paperback, back into print. Mini Marvels Hulk Smash. I love the Mini Marvels. They are so, so funny. If you want a nice, quick, funny read, go pick that up. And for only $19.50, you really can't go wrong. Page number seven is Miraculous Ladybug, Chibi Trade Paperback Volume 1, Pizza Pursuit, and Other Cat Tales. The Marvel Masterworks Volume 3 Remasterworks of the Fantastic Four Collecting Number 21 to 30. Uh, you have them in the that cover and then the other cover, and you also have Iron Man Volume 18 of Invincible Iron Man collecting Iron Man 183 to 192, annual number seven, Marvel team-ups number 134, and Jack of Hearts number one to four. Monday hardcover, a comic apocrypha, gold foil by Uncivilized Books, as well as Moon and Serpent bumper book of magic, and more cock. I have no one to laugh at me with that one. That's sad. Moorcock, Elric Deluxe at Hardcover, Volume 4, Dreaming City. More Peanuts Trade Paperback, Morning Star Trade Paperback, Mr. Ballon Presents Strange, Dark and Mysterious Graphic Novels. That sounds cool. Miss Tree, Fallen Tree. Multiversity, Harley Screws Up the DCU, which sounds very much like Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe. My Bad, Volume 3, Escape from Peculiar Island. Night Mother Trade Paperback, Volume 1. And Night Wing Hardcover, Volume 6, Standing at the Edge. Hardcover and Trade Paperback. No Rules Tonight, Graphic Novel. I love it when there's no rules tonight. Nothing Special, Graphic Novel, Concerning Wings and Nottingham, Trade Paperback. Volume 3 by Mad Cave Studios. Uh, ODB, Oddities, Discord and Asides, Lyrical Ruckus in the City. If you have been collecting the Marvel Universe um, official handbook, Marvel Universe, this is the third in the series. This one is now labelled the uh, Master Editions. Two different covers there. And One of Us is the Killer. Hardcover Volume 1, which sounds very much like a mystery murder, which um, is, is, would be pretty cool, I reckon. Uh, page number 8, Operation Sunshine Graphic Novel, Orcs Trade Paperback Volume 3 with a beautiful cover, Outsiders Trade Paperback Volume 1, and Past Tense Hardcover, Facing Family Secrets and Finding Myself in Therapy, a graphic memoir. Demon Wars, Peach Momoko's Demon Saga trade paperback, Peanuts with another box set, uh, and a lot more Peanuts. Uh, Persephone hardcover by Boom Studios and a trade paper. We have a lot of hardcovers and trade paperbacks coming out at the same time this time. I'm not used to seeing that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Phineas and Herb Classic Comics Collection, again, hardcover or trade paperback. Take your pick. Pine and Miramac trade paperback, uh, Pirate Princess trade paperback, Poison Ivy is still going strong with a volume four. People are loving Poison Ivy series. Makes me want to read it, and I probably will one day. Power Rangers Unlimited Forever Rangers trade paperback, 
Pralad, The Tale of Devotion from the Bhagavad Purana, and Punisher by Rick Remender. Omnibus is back in print, baby. Oh, my God, this took me so long to get myself my own copy of this. If you want to read about Frankencastle, uh, which is a mix between him, well, no, he becomes a bit of a Frankenstein, and the series uh, leading up to that, then this is the one you want to get. Punisher by Rick Remender. Get it before it goes out of print again. Radiant Black hardcover, massive edition book one. I might pick that up because I've heard great things about it. Red Hood Outlaws Trade Paperback Volume 3, Roxanne Dunbar, Ortiz Indigenous People's History hardcover. That sounds pretty good as well, actually. And Rugrats Bestest Comics Trade Paperback Volume 2. Scale Trade Trade Paperback Volume 1, Scary Godmother Trade Paperback. This was your childhood compendium. Seven to Eternity Compendium Trade Paperback. If you did not get the hardcover, grab the compendium. And Shepherd Hardcover Volume 3, The Valentine and the Pit. Silver Surfer Epic Collection Trade Paperback Volume 8, The Herald Ordeal. Six Treasures of the Spiral Trade Paperback. Comics Formed under pressure and the skin you're in hardcover a collection of horror comics by ashley robin franklin slightly exaggerated with a sick cover by dark horse 26.95 and we have some smurfs and the one that i really want to read and i've really got to get into is something epic trade paperback volume two and sonic the hedgehog fang the hunter Space Circus hardcover, Space Origin trade paperback, and we also have cover B. That looks pretty cool. Don't know what that is. And yeah, baby, the one I've been waiting for. So for those that don't know, they were releasing Spider-Girl in the complete collections. They released four volumes of that, and then they cancelled the complete collection line. I'm not used to Marvel really being really nice to their to their buyers here, but in, they, they decided to bring them out now in Epic Collections, and instead of reprinting one to four first, they've gone and they've printed volume five, carrying over from the complete collection. So thank you, Marvel. That was very, very thoughtful of you. Really, really appreciative of it. Spider-Woman by Steve Fox, trade paperback volume two. St. Mercy, Godland, trade paperback. And Star Trek, Lower Decks, Warp Your Own, trade paperback, if you are a fan of the show. Star Trek Trade Paperback Volume 3, Glass and Bone. Star Trek Year 5, Deluxe Edition, Hardcover Volume 2. Star Wars, Darth Vader, Black, White and Red. I really wish that came out in a Treasury Edition like um, the other Black, White and Blood ones to add to that collection. That's a shame, but I'm sure it'll still be good. Last two pages we have here is Star Wars Legends Epic Collection, the High Republic Trade Paperback, The Path of Light, which is Star Wars Trade Paperback Volume 9, and stories from Jatakas, Jatakas Hardcover. Um, yeah, cool. Um, stories of Rama, Suicide Squad Dream Team Trade Paperback, Sunday Hardcover, Superman Trade Paperback Volume 1, Super Court by Joshua Williamson. I would like to really read that, and I'm going to at some point. Uh, Superman Trade Paperback Volume 3 from 2023, Justice Reborn. Superman Kryptonite, the Deluxe Edition hardcover. The 2024 edition by Darwin Cook. Sweet Valley Twins Twinning Box Set by Random House. And Tales of Humor hardcover by Ack Comics. Tara Tog, Silence of Unicorns, Shift Presents. Teen Titans Go on TV Trade Paperback, which Robin doesn't look too happy about. The Terrifying Tales of Vivian Vance graphic novel and Thimble Theatre and the pre-Popeye comics of EC Sega revisited and expanded hardcover. That looks like it's going to be a pretty huge book at Fanographics 140. Uh, Epic Collection Thor, Volume 10, The Eternal Saga, Twinkle Origins, Hardcover, Volume 3 and Volume 4, both coming out at the same time, and TMNT 40th Anniversary Comic Celebration, Deluxe Hardcover. This one is a must-get. For Turtles fans, the Turtles turn 40, revisit some of the greatest errors with stories told by some of the many creators of the page and screen who made each iteration of the Turtles so special. 
This all new anthology takes a look all the way back to the start, celebrating that initial spark of creativity from Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird, and then works its way through the next four decades, highlighting fan favorite touchstones from comic books and beyond. This includes a new story and full art gallery. Yeah, baby. Um, and then you have the Eastman covers. Yeah, that is a different book, just making sure. Um, so that looks really cool. If you love the Eastman covers uh, between 2015 and 2019, then that's the collection to get for you. Tom Holland, Fright Night, hardcover, volume one, turning 12 graphic novel from Random House. And Ultimate Fantastic Four, Omnibus, volume one. Whoa, I've been wanting this one for a very long time. The very first appearance of Marvel Zombies. And we have the very last page now. Uh, new, a different cover for Ultimate Fantastic Four, uh, Omnibus. Universal Monsters, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Lives, hardcover. Uh, two different covers there. And Unpettables, the Unpettables, yeah, hard, uh, trade paperback, volume two. Um, Harbinger, Valiant Origins, trade paperback. And The Valiant, trade paperback. Walt Disney's Donald Duck hardcover, volume 25 and 27. Okay, where's 26? A little confusing. Uh, we called them Giants hardcover by Kieran Gillen. That is probably going to be very, very good because Kieran Gillen is absolutely amazing. Love that work. Weapon X-Men. This was a great read. This is about different Wolverines from different worlds getting together to stop a phoenix threat it was very enjoyable i really uh enjoyed it and it also includes the one shot of where the x-men come back from the old timeline into the new if you don't know what i'm talking about go look it up white boat hardcover by scott snyder witching hour trade paperback by jeff loeb and wonder woman trade paperback volume two sacrifice with a with a really cool cover i dig that X-Men 97, Great Expectations Based on the Cartoon. X-Men, Fatal Attractions, Omnibus. How am I going to keep up with all these omnibuses? Holy moly. With three different covers. Which cover are you going to get if you're going to buy them at all? I love that Bob Larkin cover, but I've got to be honest, man, I think I've got to get that Ramita one because that was one of the first comics I ever got as a kid. Unfortunately, it won't be a holographic cover like the comic but still man memories that is all i can think of and last but not least yo jimbot trade paperback volume one metal silence do not be fooled this has nothing to do with your sagi yojimbo he does not have a license on yojimbo it is a word that exists other people can use it but it is a ninja robot that kind of looks really cool i gotta admit i'd read it before the synopsis and yeah looks really really cool and that is all she wrote. We just did the whole thing in 32 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, if you prefer videos where it's just me, tell me to fire everybody. And I will. Maybe. Probably not. You probably prefer everybody else here because it's a lot more fun and it's a lot more humorous instead of me just shouting at you for 30 minutes. Um, if you do have any uh, critiques about how I should, if I ever have to do these alone again, please let me know because I want you guys to be entertained with these videos. If you want me to go slower, you want me to click on more things, you want me to skip on things, please, any advice is good advice, even if I don't listen to it. Thank you very much. And we will be back next week. Hopefully other people join me and I'm not alone again. Uh, but, you know, you can sit there and find out, uh, well, you can sit there and think to yourself, am I wearing pants tonight? I am. See you next time. Thank you very much. And as always, Aussieverse is and always will be.